Who uh, brought Roots to your attention? Well, Ruby D and Ozzie Davis. She and I had met an interesting man, uh, and he had told us a strange story of tracing the story of his own family all the way back to the time when they were in Africa before slavery, you know? A young man named Alex Haley. I'd, I'd met uh, uh, David, David Walper in the Soviet Union because at a film festival. Uh, David Walper talking to Ruby D, uh, trying to find out what some of the things she would like to see television tackle. Ruby mentioned this particular uh, author. After that trip, David called and he, he asked me, what was that storybook about the generations? She said, well, Alex Haley. And uh, she said, well, how can I get in touch with him? Well, we had a number. I put um, Alex and Haley and David together. And they both give me credit sort of like for being the godmother of the project. So I went on to business and life. And I'm in New York. I walk into a restaurant. I'm sitting down at a table. And over there, I see some, one of the secretaries in the William R. Say, she's trying to get a seat. We, there's two of us sitting at a table for four, and she's with another uh, an African-American lady, and they're both talking. I said, sit over here. We're just about finished. The African-American lady sits down. She says, oh, what are you doing? I'm a secretary to Alex Haley. Oh, gee, you know, he did a book called, that he was writing, something called Roots, that Columbia owns. No, they, it's expired from Columbia. They, they never were able to do anything. Said, oh, oh, it's expired. I negotiated the deal and bought the property from Alex Haley. The book had not even been written, had not been written. Then I have met Alex Haley. So Alex Haley comes out to California. We have a little luncheon, myself and some of the people in my company. And in about 10 minutes, he's got the tape, we're sitting, the table is won over. Now we have to sell the show. And I said, there's no way, the best way to sell the show is to bring Alex Haley into that. There's, we can, I, I can't even compete with that. I consider myself a great salesman. Well, you sit Alex Haley down for an hour with anybody, and you'll sell the show. So sure enough, we bring Brandon Stoddard from ABC over to a lunch. We all sat around the table. Say, Alex, tell Brandon about what the story we bought. Alex is one of the greatest storytellers that ever lived, if not the greatest storyteller that ever lived. And he talked about basically his past 10 years of trying to find his roots, find, find the town from which he came in Africa and how he did it and the problems and he ran out of money and but he could still hear his grandmother saying gambe which is the word for guitar and umba which is the word for pineapple and, and he would keep this refrain going as he told this story and the story was heart-wrenching. Man's down to no money, he's in, in England, he finally finds by accident um, a, a, a barrel of papers, he goes through these papers and he finds the piece of paper that connects Quinta Quinte and, on, at, to the ship and the ship to the landing. So he finally gets the connection back to Africa and it's, then he talks about going to the town, what happened in the town, and they say Gambe for guitar and Umba for pineapple and all this stuff. And you're sitting there listening to this and it is breathtaking and tears are running out because it's an incredible, incredible story. And they say at the end of it, um, you know, you guys want to do this book? I mean, you know, you, and I said, yeah, you know, I, yeah, I think we're going to do this. We got to put this in development. Get in the car, start driving back with Lou, Lou, Lou Rudolph. And I said, you know, Lou, I just think we bought a book that doesn't exist. We, bought, <laughs> we, we heard a story about how he's going to write this book. What it's going to be, but how he found the right, but we have no idea what the story is. So we just bought it. I'm like, God, I hope this thing's going to work. Alex hadn't written a word about the actual story itself, uh, about what happened to Kunta Kinte. And um, so that was the first little roll of the dice, of which there were going to be about 20,000 more rolls of the dice.